Right, that's all done. I'm feeling just really good again this morning. Well rested, well fed. Had a wash in the lake last night. Another nice day. No plans, no bookings, just more of Korea to explore. It's just great. in a purification tablet the last two times I've been ill it's been stagnant water so I, I am a bit more cautious well it's an amazing crop rice just look how uniformly it grows, there's hardly any difference between the tall plants and the short plants. They're all exactly the same height. Normally plants, I think, try and survive through growing the biggest or the tallest, but this is like a collectivism among a crop. I guess agriculture has harness that side of it by selective planting and things like that but it's very interesting I was just going to have a look at your nice garden there I can tell he's a good boy really, he's a softy, but I won't bother him. Lovely empty roads, completely unused, I think this was the road before the motorway got put in. I guess that's where I'm heading today. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is some kind of, this is some crop here. A bit unwieldy. And then look at the rice here. just the genius of agriculture I guess selective cropping and harvesting and re-breeding or whatever they do with it well it did say there was a hiking trail somewhere but I'm perfectly happy walking up this nice uh, road, there are no cars around, and uh, I think there's a tra well, there is a trail or a road through as well, so I won't have to come back down here later on. This is a walk. Today and for the next few days is um, a Korean holiday called Chuseok, which is their mid-autumn harvest festival, celebrating the, the, the 
harvest and uh, it's where they just get together as families and celebrate so it may be a little bit busier at these holy sites for the next few days let's see if i can refuel i think this is a restaurant Hello. Where are you from? England. England. Yeah. Oh, you are temple, uh, temple tourist. Tourist. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, just walking. Oh. <laughs> How long stay in Korea? Um, four weeks. Oh, four weeks. Yeah, yeah. Which temple did you went to? Today, Boyanza. 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 Boyanza is a big. Buddha, big Buddha. Yeah. Uh, Munsuan. Munsuan? Mm. Oh, yeah, Munsuan. Munsuan looked the Bodhansa beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah, Munsuan. Munsuan. Oh. Can you eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bap? Bap, And um, that's where I'm off to now. Well, what a great refuel stop that was. And, and again, only option on the mountain, still very reasonable, 10,001, six pounds for a nice big bibimbap. She gave me extra rice. And now I'm in peace of mind to stay out as long as I want now, really. Um, where should I go? Not like in England. I feel sorry for you parents out there. If you're a family of five, you go to a National Trust site, you've already bought a ticket and you want coffee and cakes for five of you. It's 40 pounds, probably. It's outrageous what they're doing. Not joking, like five pounds you pay for a piece of a piece of cake. Twenty slices. It's a hundred pound cake, which was just a frozen carrot cake. It's just it's just a rip off, unfortunately, and you see it loads in, in the UK. Look, you're going to a holy site and you're racing around. Okay, you slowed down. You got lucky. These might be my mates. Um, but for the record, I do love the UK. Still, probably my favourite country. Um, 
despite, you know, well, you don't need to go there. Well, I was wrong about these holy sites being busy today. Temple tours turning into such a great idea. I really want to turn with this camp, but there's little monk boys hogging it. this bunch of bogans here with their noisy engines and their camera phones. Just want to get away from buildings and vehicles and engines now. The Nam Namparang Trail. This is the the way through, and uh, I'm just going to follow this down. The next town I reach, I'll set up a camp near there and chill out for the rest of the evening. I think. So look how nice those rice crops look from up here. Well, this is just the perfect trail for me right now. Smooth tarmac, no cars. And um, <laughs> the fact that it's the mid-autumn festival today brought it to my attention that it is autumn. I hadn't really considered that as a possibility considering how warm it's been. But the evidence suggests, as the festival does, that we are in autumn here in Korea which is nice because I like the seasons so it's nice just to be reminded of that walking here and it's nice to know that for the next couple of hours I'm just going to walk along this path 
not going to see a single person. Whenever I see someone up there coming towards me, I just get anxious and I think, oh God, what should I say something? What should I say? What should I do? And then they get closer and closer and I kind of half make eye contact. I might take off my glasses beforehand and just like, and then they go and it's like, okay. So this is ideal. That's it for this trail. I've now connected to a road and there are no buses along it. So I've just got to walk an hour south down to the nearest town, which is called Halmion. And uh, that's the plan. But the road looks no fun. And um, Halmion looks pretty farmy as well. We'll see. That's a long old road. I mean there is there is this generous verge area and um, it's actually not that far should be able to get off the main road up here yeah I think I'm going up here So cut through, well, go round at least this this boring road. Well, that's enough water now for the evening, so if I have to have a pack of biscuits for dinner, I'm okay with that because it's going to be dark in an hour or so. So I'm quite keen to find somewhere to camp for the night. English. English. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak Korean. Ah. <laughs> How did you come to know our town? I've just been walking from the mountains and I found it by accident. Oh, It's very pretty here. Very pretty here. <laughs> 
아하, 감사합니다. <웃음> 어. 아주 예. 감사합니다. 산에서 무슨 일을 하세요? 산에서 무슨 일 하세요? 산에서 일하다 오셨다. 아. 음. 벌써? 보여자. 아, 보여나. 보여나. 음, 음, 오케이. 네. 문수아. 음. 구경하세요. 감사합니다. 저쪽에 대나무가. 와우. Bamboo forest, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that was very special. I did see a sign as I was coming in saying traditional Hanok village. But, um, there you go. What a, what a treat. I think this is a persimmon tree. Oh, that was nice. No restaurants or camping there though. I love how all the gates and doors are just open so you can just wander in. And um, I really need to calibrate Google Translate, the voice dictation, because I was telling her like, oh, it's really lovely here. And it translated, oh, it's really lovely here. And I did it again, like, it's really lovely here. And it said again, really lovely here. And she's, oh, thank you. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm going. I've got to. I've got to um, walk on to the next Halmi on now. Well, I am moderately concerned about finding a campsite for this evening because there hasn't been anything really, and I'm heading into town now, so. We will see. There are no guest houses, so. No, that's all wet in there. This is an option, you know. 
this is a definite option. Oh, look at it, it's just glorious. I mean, it's a complete bait out because um, it's, a, it's a public monument right in town. But it's a pretty good option, to be honest, because if I just do a dusk till dawner, then... Uh, That van was taking interest, I don't know if there's someone official, but... I mean, it's not appropriate, really, to camp at memorial grounds. Oh, I like it. it down there. I don't think my tent will even stick over here that much so it's pretty nice for a stealth spot. I don't think I'm going to do any better than that, so I'll just leave my bag there and have a walk around town. If I find somewhere better, then I'll come back. If not, I'll do some stealth camping there later this evening. Let's have a quick look up here. Oh! Ooh. Mm. Well, this, this is nice, this is good, this is real good. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now I can just retrieve my bag, go set up camp early, then I can just walk into town as an ordinary citizen and have some nice dinner. spotted doing things around the memorial and that's camp set up and I am just an ordinary run-of-the-mill tourist Presumably whoever's having a go on the pneumatic hammer drill will have stopped by the time I return to camp later. Um, but I'm just going to head into town and find some dinner. Oh. Ordinary tourist status complete. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. There's some nice restaurant smells coming from town. And um, not having spent anything on accommodation and also having walked all day, I can... Um, treat myself guilt-free. 
and I'm so lucky I found that campsite. It's five minutes from town and uh, there's just nothing else available. It's all, because it's a sea, a coastal town, it's all quite flat. Not many hiding places around here. I've had to go a lot deeper. Sorry, English. Long Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Oh wow, this looks good. Oh, this is a real spicy. Oh, it's good. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, this is yeah. uh, oh nice. Oh. This is the sashimi, right? Sashimi is here. Okay. It's, it's covered with uh, ice. Mm. So at uh, first you. Oh, this is the yes, noodles. Yes, noodles. Yeah. yeah. Here and you add the noodles. Okay. Eat and next up. Oh. Uh, oh, you have some rice yes, here. Rice. Just the noodles in here though, yeah. right? not the rice. Oh, it's all... <laughs> My choice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, looks good. And what's this? Oh, it's oh, mashed potato. Mm -hmm. Mashed potato. Mashed potato? Yeah. Mm. It's kimchi and... Kudzu noodles. Kudzu noodles? Yes, ah, okay, thank you. Oh, you can hear... Uh, Travel or yeah, travel. Travel. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. where are you from? England. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Kuzu noodles. Mm. So here we have tonight's dinner. We have the kuzu noodles, which are from a kuzu plant produced in Japan some um, chopped veg here, some mashed potato, um, a type of kimchi, another kimchi, and this is sashimi, which is um, raw fish here, covered with ice and some spicy sauce. Just a little aside, look how my three time zoom defaults to that's not optical zoom, that is digital zoom, but when I when I go far away, look, that is proper zoom. So then I have to bring it back. And look, that's the proper zoom. But whatever, that's for another day, I guess. Try the mashed potato. <laughs> Never thought I'd get it in a sashimi restaurant. Decent. And you just dump the noodles in, mix it all together. That is so good. Very fresh. And here we have kuzu cold noodles with sashimi. That is so nice.
And the good thing about cold food is you can really just take your time and relax. I've got nowhere to be other than that hillside farm. Thank you. Do you need more? No, 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 this is perfect. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, thank you. Thank you. So this cold noodle dish is a type of bibim guksu and um, these chopped leaves are called perilla leaves and they're a type of mint and very distinctive. First had it a couple of weeks ago, I didn't know what it was but very tasty. Oh, snacks, snacks. Bravo. Yeah. 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 That was a delicious dinner. Had a nice chat with uh, Canyon Kim, who was um, who worked there with his family, and um, he he learnt English in the Philippines for a few years. So I had a nice talk with him. And um, new subscriber, so welcome. And he was saying I was the first foreigner that they've served in that restaurant, which is nice to hear. And then I went to get some snacks and some bloke from Turkmenistan was in there getting drunk with the owner, so it's not quite untrodden land, but um, a lovely dinner nonetheless. And now back to my little campsite. Oh, you get it this way. Too hot right now for the rain jacket, but I'll need it in a few hours. It's too hot right now. 